Today, we're gonna to look at this. Tea break. Hello again, welcome back. Mids 1970 here. Unfortunately, my compressor has got an electrical problem and it keeps tripping the electrics. So, it's time to find out what's wrong with it and put it right. So we have a process of elimination. We have power comes in here from the main breaker board inside goes into the on off switch here and then from there power goes to the pressure switch um, and then from the pressure switch it goes to the motor so what I'm going to intend to do is to bypass an item at a time and try and eliminate whatever's causing the short so if I bypass the on off switch or even fit it to another on off switch then I can see whether this is a problem and if I bypass the pressure switch and wire it direct to the motor so the motor switch is on when you press the button then we'll see whether it's the pressure switch that's at fault and if it's if it, there's only power going in a direct line to the motor and it still trips then it has to be the motor most likely the capacitor is old and knackered and a new capacitor should fix the problem but we have to see which one is at fault so this is double switched power comes into the on off switch and the power goes to the pressure switch and then it goes to the um, motor so we're going to join this up completely bypassing the switch and then we'll see whether it's the pressure switch. So I'm going to turn the power on and try it again. Unfortunately, it's not the switch. So now the power is going to come directly in from the main switch inside, straight to the motor. Now this is a this is fine for a test purpose because you can switch the motor on if it runs you can switch it back off again but you should never run it in service wired up like this because there's nothing to stop it the tank from exploding. So we'll give it a switch on now and see how we get on. Well, that was unsuccessful. So, wiring direct to the motor, it still trips. So there's only one thing left to do. Take the box off there, check the wiring, make sure that's okay. And then we'll have a look at the capacitor. Right, so this is where we're at now. We have changed the breaker in the breaker box. And it still pops, so it isn't that. We have completely bypassed this switch. We have bypassed the on off switch here and we have bypassed the pressure switch there. So power is coming in directly to the motor and even with a new capacitor on it, it's still tripping the electric. But if you disconnect that from the motor, 
and switch the power on, nothing happens because there's an open circuit there. So that means that the problem has to be in the motor. Right, the motor is now free. Let's lift it out. Sounds like the bearings have gone in there to me. This is the old motor off the compressor. And it has six terminals in here, like a three-phase motor. But the terminals are actually marked up U1, U2, U3, U4, 5 and 6. And I've looked online and I can't find anything about this motor. Not about that setup anyway. So we have continuity between U1 and U2. We have continuity between U3 and 5. But there is no continuity between U4 and 6. I figure that's where maybe the problem lies. So if anybody does have any ideas what might be wrong with this motor, and if it is fixable, please leave me comments below. And I might return to this on a later project. But for now, it's too much for me. Time for a new motor. This is where we're at at the moment. We've got the wire through onto the motor, earth connected, now we've got to connect the power. But currently this needs to run a clockwise direction and at the minute it's set up to run in an anti-clockwise direction. So we're going to wire it in to this one so that it runs counterclockwise or anti-clockwise let's change it over So close up. The dog bones are currently this way. We need to take them off and turn them through 90 degrees. And then we'll collect the power to U1 and U2. There's the wiring completed. Live into U1, neutral to U2. Let's 
give it a test. Right, we'll put the cover on. Now we'll give it a full test and see if it cuts off at pressure. Just in case anybody's wondering, yes, this is an airbox out of a car. So that way I can filter the air and get a lot more volume through than just a, a normal little air filter on here. It makes a big difference. And the compressor is now fixed. It's an expensive repair to put a new motor on, but unfortunately that's what I've had to do. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon. That way you can get notifications when I post a new video. Please leave a comment below. This is a totally free way for you to support my channel so that I can bring you new and interesting videos on a regular basis. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now. See you soon.